Hello folks, Mundane Man here again, and today we're going to go through the process of checking the sump and sump pump in our house. It's been raining a lot these last few days, and I just want to make sure that that's operational so that all of our weeping tile and, and uh, uh, eaves trough runoff doesn't all of a sudden end up in the basement. So you always want to make sure that that pump is operational and that the water is getting pushed out to uh, the storm sewer. So let's get at it. So there is our sump pump right there. Um, it's in our uh, furnace room here. And uh, generally they keep uh, or place a sump pump in an area where all of your plumbing and such is. If they put your sump pump in as a, or sump in as an afterthought, it may not be necessarily located in your furnace room or your uh, utility room. But that's where ours ended up so one of the first things you want to do is make sure it's still plugged in that's key number one and ours is plugged in here and it is plugged in there um, you might want to plug a lamp in there to make sure that that outlet is actually working as well second is we're going to take off this cover and look inside the sump okay my cover has four screws holding on this cheap plastic cover here and we'll just pull them out they just use little drywall screws to hold this in I might change those and this other screw does not want to come out because it's rusted Okay, what do we got? Now, there's the inside of a sump pump, or sump with the pump in it. Let's bring some light into there. Now, you can see this is where the water is coming into the sump from uh, all of the drainage around our house and this pipe here is where the water gets pumped into the uh, city storm sewer system and here is our pump and right there is the float now as the uh, sump fills up that float will come up and It'll get to a certain level, and that's when the uh, pump will kick in and pump all of the water out. So you can see there is some water in here, but it's not enough in there to make the pump go off. But you can see the ring around the sump right there, which is the height where the uh, water will get. To test it, all I'm going to do is just pull up that float and do this without dunking my light too deep into the sump here. So there's the float there. Just pull it up. And that ball inside the float will cause the uh, pump to run. And I don't know if you can see, but the water level is dropping. All of the water pumped out to the point where the uh, sump pump shuts off. There's some sediment in here, but it's not too bad. So really a sump is just um, a pipe coming into a barrel below the, uh, the slab of your house. Let's get the light out of the way. Again, comes in there. You can see water dripping down. We've had some rain, so there is water coming in off of the uh, surrounding area of the house. And then, as the water fills up, that float comes up to a certain point. Uh, as you can see again by the ring in the sump barrel. And then, it just pumps it out through this pipe 
into the uh, city storm sewer. My neighbor's house is a little bit lower than mine, so if I'm ever out by the side of the house, I seem to hear his kick in more than ours. But, uh, yeah, ours is uh, still operational and is actually, actually doing something as the water does trickle in. Okay, now that we've confirmed it's operational, let's just put the lid back on and we'll call this job done. Okay, let's put that back on. I grabbed four new screws to put in there instead of those rusty old drywall screws. There we go. Now, this is such a flimsy cover and because it is right below my power panel, I have I have a piece of this dry core flooring. You can use anything you want. Um, that's what I use for subfloor in my uh, for the rest of my basement. And I just put that over top of it just so that if somebody steps on that cover, they don't end up going through it. I was editing this video and I discovered that I didn't really tell you where the water goes when it pumps it out of the uh, sump pan or bucket. Uh, in our case, it goes to right into the city storm sewer, which is this. Here's our eaves troughs going to the storm sewer. Here is the uh, sump pump exit and it goes into the storm sewer as well. Uh, that was part of the drainage plan in our neighborhood that we had to have um, this type of drainage go directly into the storm sewer. Uh, you're not supposed to affect your existing neighbors when they built this development and that's why they had to go with storm sewers um, direct connect in this part of the neighborhood. Now other places or other houses would end up just having a hose on the output here and you can take that hose and you can move it out to your lawn or somewhere away from your house and then that water will get pumped out of the sump and then just exit out through that hose and go on your lawn or wherever you choose to place the hose and basically it's free watering at that point. Unfortunately we have to have ours go into the storm sewer. Um, I guess a person could break this off and have it pump into a, uh, a capture barrel or something, but uh, for now, off it goes into the storm sewer. Okay, so that was just a quick video on how to check your sump pump, make sure it's operational. Number one, make sure it's plugged in and that the plug-in uh, or outlet that you're using does have power to it. Number two, take the cover off. Number three, pull up that float bulb and make sure the pump comes on and then you'll see it suck water back down or you know lower the level of the water in the sump as it pushes us out to the uh, city um, storm sewer system and uh, then put your cover back on and you're good to go you should probably do this about once a year um, just to make sure it's functional if you live in a, a really rainy climate maybe uh, check it every six months Sometimes it's not a bad idea to have a spare sump pump around just in case yours fails, but um, in my case, I just try and check it often enough, make sure it's uh, functioning the way it should. And uh, So that's it for this edition of Mundane Man. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.